Welcome back to Magic Cat Security. Um, today we're going to do a tutorial on Social Fish, which is a rather old app, but still gets the job done, still does a good job. Alright, so <clears throat> I already have my terminal open and I've gone to where I have Social Fish installed. And uh, it's pretty basic. Okay. Um, you can look into the sites pad, they have all the various sites that are offered. Um, you can actually add to this script if you wanted to just by simply adding your own sites here and copying the commands it'll add and add it to the menu um, so you could add additional sites if you wanted to expand the program itself um, so we're going to go ahead and run it and you can tell the age of the of the application basically because it's got like eBay and um, MySpace which you know that hasn't been around in quite a while but like I said a lot of these are still relevant and they still work well <coughs> so let's try let's see let's do a, a common run WordPress and that's number 15 so we just choose 15 we choose which server okay um, you can use ng-rock um, Serbia seems to use the best and it's it yeah, actually marked as the best um, so we'll choose Serbia and I have this port set up through my router already so then we just wait okay um, it has problems doing tiny URL because since this was written tiny URL has changed how their website works um, in fact it used to be completely free now they charge money and they ban a lot of systems like this trying to get uh, um, well, website redirects so we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab that link I'm gonna go over here open a browser go and here's our WordPress login so it, it is already grabbed user information here um, now we're gonna let's put in booger and my password I think I spelled that right let me try it again not that it matters really because it's bogus hit login and it automatically kicks the user to the actual WordPress site. Okay, so they would just think, oh god, screwed up on my login. Meanwhile, you just got their account login and password for that particular site. And it saves it to the WordPress sites folder. Okay, to the username's text. So you get a list of WordPress users with their passwords. Uh, eventually over time. Uh, this is great for a man in the middle attack and you notice it quit the application right away by the way. Um, if you have a man in the middle going where you control the traffic you can do a redirect to your site um, <clears throat> and you don't have to go with this link you can put it through another short URL and change it so they don't see the server.net or whatever. Um, do uh, a domain redirect of your choosing uh, maybe use no IP or some other site like that to give it a custom URL. Um, so anyway, that's how you use Social Fish. Nothing to it. So be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.